I remember the, when I was, I, I think I was 15 years old and I remember seeing images of, of the funeral of Cesar Chavez and that uh, amazing image of thousands of farm workers walking in a wood box that had the, 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 the body of Cesar that even in his, in his funeral, he was sending the right message, you know? He was uh, sending the message that he was just another, another one of the movement. Uh, I remember that image as a kid. I didn't know why this man would move so many people, but I remember the image. And, and then I spent a lot of time in California because of my work going back and forth from Mexico to, to the States. And my, my first son was born in, in Los Angeles. He's a, a Mexican-American. Suddenly I realized I had a Mexican-American in my family. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and I have to say that the border uh, has created a big distance between the Mexicans and the Mexican-Americans. As, as communities, we don't share stories. We're not connected. Uh, and uh, I realized it was the moment to do a film about, about this man, about his legacy, because I wanted my son to be able to look at a film and, and find out where he comes from and what he's part of, you know? Uh, uh, I believe we have to look back to find out who we are. And, uh, and by looking back at the stories like, like Cesar's, we can get inspired to actually understand that change will never come if we're not part of it. Uh, I, I, yeah, it's... I come from a place where, you know, politicians have showed us that change will never come from their, their angle. Uh, we were in, in, in Harvard recently where our politicians go to, to give lessons to young kids about stuff they didn't do. Uh, uh, and I, I, I so wanted it to, 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 to send the message of, if we, if we fight indifference, uh, things can happen, you know? Uh, it's by telling personal stories, as, as, uh, as this movement showed us, that we can engage with people. Uh, I did the film because I thought there was an amazing uh, message behind the boycott, you know? Instead of using violence and attacking straight at a machine that is oppressing us, if you go around and talk to consumers, it's at the end, mothers talking to mothers, parents talking to parents. Uh, and uh, people don't want to don't wanna do wrong, don't want to hurt you. But it's indifference, it's ignorance many times what stops them from doing the right thing. Uh, I love the idea of mothers saying, well, just remind yourselves when, when you buy a grape that you're supporting child labor, you know? And, uh, and that's when I connected with the story because that's what we do as filmmakers. We, we tell personal stories that hopefully will confront you with a bigger thing, with a bigger issue, and make you react and do something. So I really wanted it to, to, to make sure my son had a reference. And, uh, and that's why I started this, this, this journey of, 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 of doing this film. Let me... <laughs>